Okay. I want to talk to you about the Rolling Stones real quick. We just did a segment on one wall, but I really want to talk about this because the other night I was watching on one of the channels, the Rolling Stones last September, okay? Last year at the Fonda Theater in Los Angeles, a small venue, and they were doing the entire Sticky Fingers album. That's what the concert was, Sticky Fingers. And they were interviewing the band members in between tracks, which was fascinating to hear their perspective from that time zone, for that time frame rather. So anyway, I want to talk about Sticky Fingers just because of the significance. And you know, I was watching Mick Jagger sing the song Bitch and Brown Sugar, and he's all over the stage. I'm sitting there going, I couldn't do that. And he's like mid-70s. God love him. So anyway, from down below Sticky Fingers, we got a primo Keith. He looks spectacular here. Okay, 80s Keith. Next to it, I think I'm taking this one home. It's the nicest 11 by 17 I've ever seen a Keith. He actually has, looks like liner. And his eyes are bright. He looks so good. And this is before Keith turned into this. He was much younger here. In the studio, I think you have, you have Keith with Bob Dylan. And then you have Keith today. Keith is probably the poster child for our entire industry. So many artists have tried to emulate his life and they, they aren't here any longer. I love Keith. And then below it you have an early version of the Rolling Stones. With Keith you got Ronnie in the middle, 80s. And then you have another one taken more recently, one of their more recent tours with all four of them, 8 by 10 So anyway, I just wanted to get that out of my system tonight. I want to talk about the Rolling Stones. So thanks for listening if you get a chance to watch it. All right? Good night.